Thank you, Son. <coughs> Task Force board members, ladies and gentlemen, I am very humbled to be part of this outstanding group of awardees and honorees. Their achievements and contributions are unbelievable. When Dr. Asali informed me of the award, I felt a range of emotions, pride, joy, excitement, and a touch of fear. Yes, a touch of fear. Six years ago, after 32 years in this country, and only after I made senior partner, I finally got the courage to publicly admit I am Palestinian American. <laughs> the fear of being labeled, of being stereotyped, the fear for my kids, and the fear for my job stopped me from coming out. And for years, I was tormented by it. I want to thank Ziad and the work that he and many of you are doing to give people like me the courage to be unafraid, to be proud Palestinian American, to be able to openly speak about the suffering of Palestinians, and at the same time, be a loyal US citizen who cares deeply about this great country. A Japanese poet once wrote, the world grows stronger as each story is told. And my story is similar to that of many of, of you here tonight and other Palestinians in countries around the world who, are up, who were uprooted and forced to find new homes. My parents fled Palestine to Lebanon in 1948. My dad lost both his eyes in a tragic accident shortly thereafter. So my mom, so my mom had to become the head of our household, care for four boys who are here tonight, and my father, and take responsibility for our survival. And like many other Palestinian refugees, we relied on the United Nations for schooling and a monthly allotment of food, cloth, clothing, and other essentials. My mom also worked as a seamstress doing piecemeal work, piecemeal work, and my older brother had to quit school at 15 to work full time. In 1972 and barely 20, I left home and came to the US to study. I put myself through college helped my family immigrate and settle here. And after 38 years of hard work, my old family and my new family are living the American dream. But the real dream we want to see is for all Palestinians to have a home of their own. I feel very fortunate, privileged, and honored to be receiving this award. I would not have been able to, to make it without the help and generosity of many people and institutions. As Secretary Clinton has said, it takes a village. It really does take a village. In my case, it takes a whole country, this country, to make me who I am today. I am so thankful and appreciative and unbelievably proud to be a citizen of the United States of America. I am absolutely certain that there's no other place on earth where someone like me, the son of Palestinian refugees, growing up below the poverty line, dependent on the United Nations for food, shelter, education, and survival, can make it to the top of one of the most prestigious companies in the world and be honored by you tonight. And for that, I'm very grateful. Thank you.